what we're doing today is everything I did in part one for the Maserati, but backwards. Got all my cam caps, got all my parts, and I'm going to be putting everything back together. So, I'm going to try to do it without my friend being here today. See how that goes, but um. Let me show you exactly what the parts look like. So, I sent them over to a guy in California. And uh, he's the one that machined cam caps. He's the one that put them, put them all together. And let me tell you, it's probably the easiest person I've worked with in the automotive industry. He got the package in two days. In about two hours, he had the, sh he had the package already shipping back out to me. And two days later, I got my package. So it's been about a week there and back. I already have my parts back. Yeah, he did a pretty good job. He um, he made it look basically exactly how it needs to be. And I want to show you exactly what it looks like. So that way you guys have an idea of what it looks like. So this is it. This is one of the two. The second one looks exactly the same, but obviously opposite. So he ended up drilling more holes. It's not just doing a check valve. It's actually about um, there's certain spots you gotta actually adjust, bore out more or less. Um, so I just let him deal with all that because he's a professional. He's done thousands of them in the past, so he knows exactly what he's doing. And that's T E M Performance Machine Shop in Napa, California. So very highly recommended. Got my parts back really fast, and now I'm gonna be putting these back in. So. I'm gonna try to put both of them back in. I did get new new valve covers uh, gaskets, and they came from uh, United Kingdom. It was the cheapest place. They were like uh, 43 bucks each or something. And then they direct air shipped it here for like 20 bucks. But new new gaskets, so we'll get those lined up to the new covers and uh, put the rest of all this stuff back on see what it sounds like. Hopefully it fixed the problem. Well, day two. Started on it yesterday, but started raining, so uh, put everything back together and decided to start today instead. So, got all my tools out, everything I'm gonna possibly need. You need a couple different tools that help you do the job. Um, main thing is having a right torque wrench. Um, I got a Matco here. This is one of the best out there. And uh, fully electronic. You put in whatever unit, everything. So it gives you exactly what you need to torque. Figured a car like this, you need to use the right tools on it because you never know um, which part of it needs to be 100% versus another part that um, doesn't have to be torqued. So we're gonna be doing that. I already got the driver's side buttoned up. All I need to do is torque all these bolts down. They all go down to 10 newton meters. So that's going to be next. I'm going to be doing the other side. Get that cap, that cam cap on, and then start putting all these injectors and all this everything back together. Hopefully, we don't miss anything. So, all right, part two. So. Put back together, valve cover is on, coils are on, clean, gaskets on. We're about to see if this actually helps the car. Well first of all we're going to see if it actually starts the car first. So we're going to try to start it, let it warm up, turn off the car, wait 10-15 minutes, try to start it again, see if we have that same rattle or not. So let's try it out. Okay, first start always has the rattle. Once it fills the galleyways, we're gonna let it warm up a little bit and then we'll turn it off and see what happens. So it's been several minutes. Let's see if it still has that noise.
Would you look at that? I think our problem has been solved. We'll keep you updated. Beautiful. This is after a few hours of sitting. So, looks like the problem has been fixed. Easy start, no noise. Beautiful. So I know I said I had this really fancy torque wrench and yes it's fancy but not fancy enough because it's too big I needed it to drop down to 10 nm Newton meters and instead it the minimum it had was 35 so I ended up using a different one that was smaller so yes it's nice but not for this so I'm putting the car back together look at that it's starting to look pretty good Detail, detailed it up a little bit cleaned it up everywhere Cleaning all that dust and crap out of the way. Blew out all the holes. That's so much dust and leaves and who knows what in there. Um, putting the rest of it back together. Putting the windshield wipers on, the hood, all the plastics. And uh, start nailing it. And hopefully uh, hopefully it stays running. Kind of keep an eye on it. Make sure all the bolts are still tight. Um, no oil leaking anywhere. Um, as soon as I did it though, it did... This steamed up for quite a bit while it, all the oil that dripped onto the headers until that all went away and then now it's it's good it starts up no problem so we'll uh, we'll keep driving it and see if an issue arises I will be back and I will explain it but for now that's it that's how you do that issue that's how you fix that issue on these cars now some people are not that lucky some people actually need to change the whole variator all the t timing in this case, it wasn't that serious of an issue, even though I was told that I do need to take everything apart and do that. But as you can see, the problem is fixed, and I did not need to go any further. So there you go. Started it one last time tonight. Same. No sound. No issues. Happy to say she is ready to roll. Got them 22s. Now, the battery died again, so... Got to reprogram that. Once that's done, I think you'll be ready to go. It's been almost uh, 24 hours. It's been overnight. Uh, let's see if it'll start still without any noise. Okay. Wow, no noise. Looks like the issue is completely gone. So, positive reviews. Get this scan finished. Oh, there he goes. Check engine's gone. All right, I'll call that a successful, successful job.